What is up guys, it is Tony here, and today we're doing a video comparing the iPhone uh, 5S here on the left to the iPhone 5. Um, today we're going to be doing a speed test on the iOS 7 software. They are both on the same version of iOS 7, and they are both uh, basically cleared out in terms of cache. Uh, yeah, there's some messages going on here, but that's because uh, this has a different uh, network on it. Also, there is no SIM in it currently. So basically, we're just going to do a speed test on opening apps. It should be pretty simple. Not too scientific, but we'll see how it overall, overall performs. So the first thing um, I'm really quickly going to do is just go into, um, let's go into the App Store. So ready? Three, two, one. Oh, whoops. That was a mistake. So that's going to happen a lot, but let's get them a little bit closer. Three, two, one. And you can see this loads a little bit quicker um, for some reason. Oh, because I'm not on. Let me get on Wi Fi real quick. That might help. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it again. Okay. Three, two, one. Oops. Three, two, one. So as you can see, this one obviously loads a little bit quicker. Um, just trying to give you guys an idea of what uh, you're going to see in terms of speed performance between the two devices, how quick they necessarily are going to load. Let's look at stocks real quick. Uh, three, two, one. Okay, so that's the same. And really with a lot of these, you're going to see the same sort of thing. Um, for example, you know, with phone. Like if I go into phone, let's not do phone though. Let's do settings. Settings are going to be very similar. Three, two, one. Actually, a little bit quicker for the iPhone 5S. So you're really not going to see too much of a difference, is my point, uh, with just opening apps, which is something that we used to do back in the day uh, for tests. But one thing I think you're probably going to see a small difference in is the game. So we're going to go ahead and open up Temple Run 2 on both. 3, 2, 1. This one was actually a little bit slow on the click. As you can see, this loaded much quicker. And considering the iPhone 5, not that long ago, was pretty much a speed demon, um, that's pretty impressive. Now, in terms of the in-game performance, um, I haven't really noticed any big frame rate uh, differences overall. Um, maybe it's because this game, you know, the games aren't really optimized for the iPhone uh, 5S yet. Whoops. Um, but, you know, overall, I mean, maybe there's a slight difference. Um, obviously, there's going to be better gaming performance um, when you look at the stats of the phone. But right now, you really can't see too much of a difference, but maybe once you get it to the games that are made to show a difference. Now, one thing I noticed that you're probably not going to be able to see too well on this camera is that the 3D background, which you guys probably all know and have seen before, which I'm going to try to focus on here. Um, there we go. Yeah. Uh, the 3D background, which you can kind of see happening there, I've noticed it's much more fluid on the, um, on the new 5S. Um, when I first switched over to iOS 7, I thought, hmm, this is really bad and laggy. And I was wondering if it was because it was a beta. I'm trying to focus on this. Maybe I'm too close. Is that good? I think that's good. But on the, it's really hard to see on here, but on the iPhone 5, it lags a little bit. And I've noticed that because um, really, I'm so used to the, uh, the iPhones being really fluid with a lot of their animations. I mean, the only time you really see an iPhone lag is in a game. So to see it happen in the actual OS really means that they're putting a lot more graphical um, power into the operating system. And this is actually made to be a, to run a 64-bit architecture in terms of the processor. So you're definitely going to see this perform extremely well with this rapidly changing uh, GUI. So, um, you know, just one thing to think of. If you really want to try to use iOS to its full potential, the new iOS, you're probably going to want to go with the 5S over the 5C or the 5 because really, it's, it's really behind in terms of being able to perform uh, and run iOS 7 well. And another thing I noticed is that the battery life is a little bit more improved um, than on the uh, iOS 7 version of the 5 or the 4S. A lot of people have been complaining that the battery dies extremely quickly on the 5 and 4S and so on and so forth. Uh, but on the, I, the iPhone 5S, a lot of names... Um, it actually does perform much better in terms of overall battery performance. I haven't been seeing it drain in huge quantities like I have on the iPhone um, 5. So, overall, I mean, the speed performance isn't really that much of a difference. Really, where you're going to see the speed performances uh, shine is when you go into 
the, uh, the features that are made for the phone because they only work on the hardware. So for example, uh, the slow-mo video, the 720p video, which I'll have an example of uploaded. Um, and of course doing like multiple shots. So you can do like a hundred shots in succession with no slowdown, which is pretty impressive um, considering most DSLRs have trouble doing that. But of course these are smaller images, so that's expected. Uh, but overall, there you go. That is the speed test between these two. Um, really most of the uh, real world you know, overall results, you're going to find that they're relatively similar. But once you get into the apps that are made for the 5S, that's really where you're going to see the power come in. And that's pretty much normal with any phone that comes out or any new uh, computer or anything like that. So that is pretty much it. That is the comparison between these two devices. If you enjoyed the video, like and comment. And subscribe if you want to see more like this. And I'll see you guys next time.